The following video describes our method of arthroscopic preparation and fixation of an unstable osteochondritis desiccans lesion of the knee. This case represents a 16-year-old multi-sport athlete with atraumatic right-sided lateral knee pain. Radiographs revealed a large osteochondral defect of the lateral femoral condyle. He was initially treated with a comprehensive non-operative program which included activity modification, restricted weight bearing, and oral analgesics. After five months, symptoms persisted and surgical intervention was indicated. The five-step surgical plan is listed here. During diagnostic arthroscopy, the lesion was felt to be unstable to probing and the decision was made to proceed to opening, preparation, and fixation of the fragment. A scalpel was used to open the fragment anteriorly along the pre-existing fissure while leaving the posterior attachments intact. The fragment was then hinged open using an arthroscopic spatula, allowing complete visualization of the base. All fibrous non-union tissue was meticulously removed from the base using curettes and an arthroscopic shaver. Adequate preparation of the base was confirmed by turning off the inflow and observing the bony bleeding. The fragment was then anatomically reduced with an arthroscopic probe. It was fixed in place using the following sequence of steps. The fragment was initially stabilized with multiple K-wires. Each point of fixation was then drilled, tapped, and biocomposite screws were placed. Care was taken to ensure that screws were recessed below the articular surface to avoid joint irritation, but not recessed so far that fragment fixation was compromised. A total of four screws were used and the same sequence of steps was repeated for all points of fixation. Following fixation, a final inspection of the lesion was performed. These are a few of the key points to remember when arthroscopically treating OCD lesions of the knee.